I need help with my kickflips. Uh, I've been skateboarding for about four months, and please help me out. Awesome, so thanks a lot for sending your video. I really appreciate all the work you put into it. Cool, so that first ollie looked good. Front side 180, good. Can continue working on that just to get it a little more consistent. Roll away, good. The pop shove it, we'll work on that as well. There you go, you got it. Good, so that was a very good example of the shove it. So your next step on that shove it would be to getting it popped up into the air. Cool, now I really wanna emphasize again on these previous tricks, I wanna make sure you guys are not just like doing them, but really mastering them each one as you go up. The point of this is to get your board control up. Get your board control up so that the point that you hit the kick flip, you already are so good at putting the board where you want it to go that you can just handle it, no problem. Cool, so let's check this out here in slow-mo and see what direction your front foot is moving in. This is very important. So you lift it up similar to like you would an ollie and then you flick kind of out in front but then also down. The biggest mistake in kickflip skateboarding is flicking down with that front foot. I have seen a couple very, very, very few people be able to flick their foot down and then bring it back up and around, but it's like this amazing magic trick and it's just not proper like it would be if you were just flicking your board up. Up the board, up off the nose and pop your ankle up. The board spins beautifully, comes and sucks up right into your back foot which stops the rotation, then you put it down. So the main thing that you need to do is go back first and really master, truly master those previous tricks. I cannot tell you how important that is. But next step after that is this right here. On your kickflips, you wanna practice dragging your toe up and popping your ankle up. I move my foot kind of out of the frame there so you can't really see, but from right there, you should pop your ankle up into the air so that's actually an added extra little step. So drag your toe up the nose and then pop your ankle up into the air. And then you wanna just do that a whole bunch of times over and over and over and over and over and over and over so that your muscle memory in your front foot just gets so used to doing that motion that then you can just put it together. Cool, so check this out. My front foot drags up and my toe pops up. And that motion of it popping up is what makes the board flip. I know it seems crazy weird because it seems like you should push your foot down in order to make it flip. But that is the exact opposite direction because you don't want your feet to go down, you want them to go up. After all, you're jumping up into the air. Just like an ollie, you drag your foot up the board. So you got your ollie good, so just you gotta change a bit about what you're doing just to drag the toe up instead of the middle of your foot. And then pop that ankle up and you will get the kickflip. But again, those previous tricks are vital. That's why Skateboarding Made Simple works so well to help kids to progress so fast. It's really that all of those previous steps just get in because you really master the ollie, you really master the front side 180, back side 180, pop shove, front shove heel flip and then the kick flip or at least you do if you're doing it in order and doing all the steps that are gone over so yeah if you're learning these basic tricks get the video it'll help you